everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be more of a sit down and kind of talk video. Um, I'm going to be doing my June favorites. Today is the last day in June. It's June 30th, which is crazy. I feel like every single year June just flies by quicker and quicker. It's nuts. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into my favorites for you guys. So the first ones that I want to talk about are four different lotions, but they're all from the same collection. So I went to Bath and Body Works um, a couple weeks ago and I saw this collection um, and I don't know the name of it. I, I'm so bad with like knowing the names of like Bath and Body Works collections, if they even have names to them, I don't know. But I was kind of looking at the display of this collection and they were all in like these types of bottles and like these types of bottles and just all the other stuff. So I was like, okay, I think I'm going to pick up one from the collection, but I liked all four of them, so it was really hard to decide, but they were all still full price at the time, so I was like, uh, I'm just going to pick up my favorite one. So I decided to go with the Rose Champagne, and I got it in this size, so this was the one that I paid full price for, this was $13. Um, so this is Rose Champagne, it smells really, really good. The notes in this one are Sparkling Clementine, pr ugh, Crisp Bergamot, Apple Blossom, Pink Pepper, and Blonde Woods. One question for everyone, is Blonde Woods actually a scent? Because if it is, I want to know what it smells like, because I've never heard of that before, to ever describe, like, a lotion. So to me, that's just crazy. So Blonde Woods is apparently a thing, and I just didn't know about it. But anyways, I paid full price for this one, and I loved it. But then I happened to go back to um, Bath and Body Works a couple days later or a week after I bought that and the whole collection was actually in the semi-annual sale which I didn't think it was gonna be so I picked up the rest of the collection and these look like they're smaller sizes but they're actually eight ounces and the one that I just showed you is also eight ounces as well so you're not losing out on product it's just like a more condensed packaging and I actually like the packaging of this a lot better first of all the pictures are adorable but second of all because the pumps are great and the pump has that open and stop thing on it so if you don't want it to come out it's not going to come out so that's really nice for traveling um, but these were originally $12.50 and I think I got these for around $3.13 a piece because I got all three of them for like $10.05 which is awesome so I got French Riviera this one is described as seaside citrus jasmine water amber musk summer fig and driftwood then I got Le Fleur, and this one is French Tulips, Water Lily, Frisian Blossom, Sparkling Mandarin, and Sandalwood. And then the last one here is Bonjour Paris. This is Pink Sugar Cane, Whipped Marshmallow, Candied Orange, Orange Blossom, White Honeysuckle, and Fluffy Amber. So I love all of these. I've been using these interchangeably throughout the month. These are definitely my favorite lotions. I'm for sure going to be using these for a while. And I'm probably not going to buy any new ones for quite some time because I have quite a few to get me through. So on the whole trend of body care sort of stuff, I picked up a new um, body wash, and this is from Soap and Glory. This is the Creamy Clarifying Shower Gel, and it's called the Clean On Me. Um, I got this at Target, and I think it was around maybe $10. I can't remember for sure. My Target recently started carrying Soap and Glory, and I love Soap and Glory products for the main fact that their packaging is adorable. This is the first Soap and Glory product that I've actually ever tried. Um, so I can't say like all of their products are great, but I love their packaging. So that's how they suck me in because every single time I go to Target, I sit there and I stare at the display because I'm like, oh my god, it's so cute. And I look at everything that I want to buy, and then I always walk away and I never buy anything. So this past time that I went there, I was like, you know what, you always stare at this display, it's time to just buy something. So I bought this and I love it. Again, it has a pump and it has the open and stop on it, so it's perfect. Um, for like if you're traveling somewhere and you like need to stick this in your bag, it's not going to get everywhere. I love this stuff a lot. It's very creamy, so it just makes your legs and body feel like super, super smooth. I use this to shave my legs and it's fantastic. So you'll come out feeling like a dolphin and smelling great. So check that out. Um, the next product is something that I use to remove my makeup. This is the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water All-in-One. So it removes makeup, cleanses, and refreshes. There's no rinse and no harsh rubbing. So this is for all skin types, even for sensitive skin. I use this to take off my eye makeup every single night. I literally put it on a cotton ball, wipe, and it's done. And this is great, too, if you kind of just want to refresh your skin. Maybe you washed your face earlier in the day, but you don't want to wash your face again. So you don't want to dry it out, but you want to kind of that clean feeling. Put this on a cotton ball, wipe it all over your face, your face is going to feel amazing. It's just really, really refreshing and, I don't know, I just have a lot of good things to say about this. Like, I could probably make a whole other video on just this alone because I love it. 
Alright, a couple beauty favorites for you guys. The first one is a palette that I'm obsessed with. So this is the Naked 2 Basics palette. My mom actually bought this and her and I share this. So this is not strictly mine, but this is hers as well. Um, this is what the Naked 2 Basics palette looks like. I'm sure you've seen this if you watch beauty videos. It's just awesome shades. They're all matte. They're all neutral. Easy to use. You can literally just throw them on. It's no thinking of like, oh, I have to place this shadow on this side. You know, literally just throw it on your eyelids and you're good to go. I've been wearing this every single day. This is the makeup that, or this is the palette that I have on my eyes in every one of my videos that I've uploaded so far. It's just a really nice palette. It's just very versatile, very basic, very easy. So, Super nice to use. If you've never tried this, you should totally check it out, especially if you're somebody that likes eyeshadow but you don't want to get too crazy. This is great. Okay, next one is an eyebrow kit. So I love eyebrows. Eyebrows are like my thing. I pride myself on my nice eyebrows. They don't look too nice right now because I haven't had them done in a while. But I get my eyebrows waxed, and so I try to keep up with it in between waxings, and then I fill them in. And I make them look really nice and defined because I love the look of defined eyebrows. That is just what I like. I enjoy doing that. So I like when my eyebrows look nice and clean and I like when they look nice and defined. So this is what I use um, to define them. So my eyebrows are very full and thick as is so I don't really need to use any brow products. But I like to use just a little bit up front to make it look a little bit more full. So this is the um, e.l.f. Eyebrow Kit in Medium. And it comes with this nice little brush that I use. I use the end of it, um, and I just dip it in the powder and just kind of, like, sp sparingly use it in my eyebrows. I don't use, like, a crap ton of it. But it comes with a gel and a powder. I mainly use the powder, um, but when I do start to run out of the powder or I'm completely out of the powder, then I switch to the gel. Either way, they both work really great. And the best part about this is this thing is $3, and I swear to you, it'll last you, like, a year like a year and a half. Like I don't go through these very fast and I use it every single day. So really, really awesome. Um, a little bit of this goes a long way. Okay, next beauty product is the Revlon Balm Stain. So this has been around for a while now and I'm definitely like one of the last people to get on the bandwagon about this. But this is in the color Honey. It's what I have on my lips right now. It's perfect for everyday wear and that's what I use it for. I'm very simple when it comes to my makeup. Um, unless I'm going out, I'm sticking to a very basic palette of neutrals and natural colors. It's just how I am with my makeup. I don't like to be all crazy. I wish sometimes I was a little more adventurous with my makeup, but I'm honestly not. So this is just really nice. It works for everything. I love it. It's like a nice little, it's like a nudie pink color, and that's why I really like it. Okay, and my last three favorites here are pairs of shoes. So the first ones that I want to show you are my favorite shoes ever, and I wear these almost every single day because they're so easy to throw on and they go with everything. They're my Jesus sandals. Yes, I call them my Jesus sandals because that is what they remind me of. But I got these at Old Navy last year, I think for around $20. Literally, you slide them on, you slide them off. They go with jeans, they go with jean shorts, they go with dresses. Everything you wear, they go with. And so that's why I love these. Um, they do run pretty, these, these ones run pretty small because I'm normally a seven, seven and a half, and I had to get an eight in these because the seven and the seven and a half were like, I couldn't even get my foot in it. So they do run pretty small if you're interested in checking them out. But yeah, love these. They seriously go with everything. And I get so many compliments on these shoes. Next pair of shoes are my comfiest pair of shoes that I own. I am so obsessed with how comfy these are because it's just ridiculous. These are the Yoga Mat shoes. So this is the brand. I honestly don't know how to pronounce it, so I'm not even going to try. But these are made out of yoga mats. Like, the base of this is made out of a yoga mat. Like, what? Who thinks of these things? But it has this nice little wrap, and so you can, like, wear it like this. You can wear it a bunch of different ways. I don't know the other ways to wear it because there's a card that comes on the shoe when you actually get it and, like, shows you different ways to wear it, but I threw it away. Classic Molly. It's fine. But these are great. I could honestly walk for miles in these, and my feet would not hurt whatsoever because these are so freaking fantastic. I got mine at DSW. Um... And I had a $10 off certificate, so I think these came to around $30. So I think originally they might be around $40, but if you have a $10 off, use it on these because these boys are awesome. And I get a lot of compliments on them too, just because they're fun and ass techy. The last pair of shoes is a pair of heels that I absolutely adore. And I usually am not a person that likes chunky heels, but recently I've really been into them. I don't know, maybe it's just... I'm, my style's changing a bit, I don't know. But these look great with everything that you own, practically. 
They look good with t-shirt dresses. They look good with like fancier dresses. They look great with jeans. They look good with everything. Like anything you want to wear these with, they look good. So they just have these nice little chunky heels. Super comfy to walk in. Honestly, like these wouldn't look like they'd be super comfy because there's like nothing on the bottom. But they're very, very comfortable. I wore them to a wedding recently and I wore them the entire night and my feet didn't hurt one bit. So that's really awesome. You just tie them in the front, you zip them in the back, you're good to go. You're going to get tons of compliments on them if you buy these. People love them. But yeah, super comfy. These, I got them at Target. They run a bit big because I actually had to go with a 6.5 in this. And like I said earlier, I'm usually 7, 7.5. So these run pretty big. But if you can find your size, girl, get them because I love these things to death. So that is it for my favorites video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys enjoyed this type of video, let me know because maybe I'll continue to do the monthly favorites every month. So that is it for this video. And I will see you guys soon.